Okay, I'm going to do a super fast video on why the contact patch or the amount of rubber you have on the ground does not matter one iota when we're talking about traction, okay? And let's look at this first part of the equation. The force of friction equals the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force. And basically that means when you have a y-axis and an x-axis, if you add weight here, the force required to move that weight equalizes regardless of the amount of stuff you have on the ground. So if I have a car which weighs 4,000 pounds divided into equal quadrants of 1,000 pounds, let's take a look at this half of the board here, guys. I have a tire that's 240 millimeters wide and a tire that's 120 millimeters wide. That means my contact patch of 8 square inches has 125 psi in each square inch. And my contact patch on the smaller tire has 250 psi per square inch. That means nothing changes. My traction on both of these is identical, assuming we have the same basic rubber formulation, the same basic tire profile. So the next person that tells me I have more traction because I have more rubber on the road, I'm going to punch that person in the face, okay? Because it's a very dangerous thing to believe. Secondarily, there's a bunch of other terrible things that happen when your tires get wider. One of which is you're more likely to hydroplane, right? Because you got more surface. You can't move water out of the way as quickly. Same in the snow. You're more likely to kind of coast along and slide along the snow because you can't move the snow out of the way as quickly. Um, there's a lot of other terrible things that happen having a wider tire. Why do we have wider tires, guys? One reason and one reason only. Dissipate heat, right? And when you really want to talk about it, which tire heats up faster and sticks harder, sticks quicker? The smaller one, right? Because that's the nature of friction, my friends. If you have any questions about this, leave me all kinds of hate mail below. But I want to tell you right now, more rubber is not better, usually. The reason we do more rubber is for heat and life expectancy, right? We want to increase the life of the tire. We want to increase its ability to withstand forces of, like, basically kinetic acceleration. You, know, you may not want to tear rubber off as we're accelerating. But we don't do it for traction. Please don't fall into the trap of believing that.